warm up move we're going to do, I'll show you from behind, you're going to bring your hands behind your head, palms facing your head, and then behind your back, palms facing out. Just going back and forth a few times here to warm up your shoulders. Few more there. All right, and now you're going to come into a down dog and go back and forth from a down dog to a high plank, shoulders all the way over your wrists. Push yourself back and forth. Again, warming up your shoulders and now getting your legs and spine in there too. Okay, so take two more of these down dog to plank flows. All right, then we've got one more activation exercise like this, and then we'll do our quick warm up. So you're going to come into a pinwheel shape with your legs as much as you can, and then you can use your hands to hold yourself up here. And you're going to be kicking the back leg back behind you. You'll really feel that that works this outside hip and glute, it might only go back like an inch or two. That's fine. Take 10 on each side. So a few more on the first side you started on. And then we'll switch the direction of your pinwheel, put the other leg in front, hands in front, and then you're kicking that leg behind you, really working that back glute and outer hip. 10 on this side. All right. And then we're going to get into a couple Quick movements here. First one's gonna be our X taps. So tapping down opposite hand to foot. Starting in three, two, one, go. Reach all the way up. And as you come down, make it kind of like a deadlift where you send your hips back and that's how you get down low to the ground. You're not doing this with totally straight leg, your knees will bend, but you're also trying to keep your back pretty straight throughout. After this, we're gonna go to jumping jacks with arms moving overhead. All right, so now jumping jacks, but imagine you're pressing a weight up each time you jump out. It's just different movement for your arms. Good, keep going with those. The next movement here, you're gonna have your hands up here, kind of like I imagine an Irish step dancer. Then you're going to be twisting and stepping out. So starting in three, two, one, you're twisting and stepping out. It might feel kind of awkward at first, but you'll get your rhythm. Keep going with that. Good, everyone's looking good. Good, keep your hands up near your shoulders. Few more seconds here, and then we're gonna go back to the beginning. All right, back to those X taps. Remember to send your hips back, and then bend your knees, coming down like a deadlift. Inhale as you go down, exhale as you come up. All right, now we have jumping jacks. This time you'll bring your arms straight out to the side. Switching it up. Good. A few more seconds, then we go to those rotations. All right, hands up, 
rotate. Hands up by your chest. Keep your gaze over your arms. Five more seconds, then last round. All right, last round, X taps. Inhale down, exhale up. Good, keep moving there. All right, now we've got jumping jacks. We'll do regular jumping jacks to finish. Just one more minute of warm up. Good, I'm seeing lots of people outside in the sun. That's awesome. All right, last part, rotations. See if you can go a little faster now that you've got the rhythm down for this one. Without making yourself too dizzy. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right. Nicely done. So today we're going to start with a, a short core set first, and then we'll have two ladder sets uh, for the rest of the workout. So first core set is going to be the same structure we just did for our warm up, 30 seconds uh, for a movement for uh, three movements, three times each. So it ends up being four and a half minutes straight through of work. So first movement, you want to be in a plank, tall plank. You're going to slowly lift your arms up one at a time as if you were doing the renegade row that we sometimes do when we have a weight here, but without a weight. And then opposite elbow to, um, or opposite knee to opposite elbow. One, one through each time. Keep going like that. If you want to add a weight here for the renegade row, you can. Um, that would be like a, an added challenge. Um, and the modification there would be to have your knees down on the ground like this, and then you would skip the knee to elbow. Next one's kind of a funny one, but it's really good for your upper back and posture. You're going to be lying down with your elbows down on the ground, lifting yourself up and down, really pushing through your elbows to lift yourself up. That's the second movement. And then the last one is plank jacks. That in its fast version looks like this, jumping your feet in and out. Modification is you can walk out your feet, tapping them out to the side. All right, so we're gonna start in 10 seconds with the plank. So again, you don't need weights here, but you can choose to use them. Starting three, two, one. All right, so you lift one arm at a time, opposite knee to opposite elbow, and then begin again. Notice your breathing here. See if you can keep it as steady as possible. Five more seconds. Go all the way through. Okay, come on to your back. And we're doing these back presses up on your elbows. Try to keep your neck relaxed for, throughout this. You don't have to arch your neck up. Just keep your head in line with your shoulders. All right, switch 
pushing, last movement, plank jacks. Remember, you're either jumping through this or walking it out. Modification here, uh, if you also want to modify for your wrists, can be coming onto your elbows. Good job, almost done. All right, and now we're switching. We're going back to the plank arm row to opposite knee to elbow. You're probably feeling things start to fire. That's a good sign. Stick with it. Good job, everybody. All right, switch, come onto your back. We're halfway through this set. Elbows down, push up. Good. Good, elbows in at your side. Nice. And then push yourself straight up. Okay, and switch. Plank jacks, jumping or walking it out. See if you can count your breaths one at a time. Find one point to look at to focus. All right, switch. Last set here. Last time through everything. So we've got the row to opposite knee to elbow. Again, count your breathing here. Keep your hips a little bit lower, everybody. As best you can. Good. All right, on your backs. One minute left of work, then we break. Elbows tucked in, push up. Just a few more. Keep yourself moving. Trust that you've got it in you. All right, back to your plank position. Last 30 seconds, plank jacks. Challenge yourself to go all the way. Not stopping early. Got that one point to look at. A few more seconds, that's all. Rest. Good job. All right, I know my core is burning. Hopefully yours is too. So here's what we've got next. We're going to be building 15, 30, 45, 60 of movement A. And in between each, we'll have 20 seconds of movement B. So movement B will only ever be 20 seconds. The other one will be building longer and longer. And there will be rest as well. Uh, short rest, 10, 15 seconds. So the first time you're going through this, the first movement will be a uh, squat with an overhead press. So what you'll do is you'll keep, you'll keep your weights up here by your shoulders, then you'll lunge back and press up. This is the movement that we're building from 15 to 60 seconds with. The 20 second movement will be bicycles with a punch. So it's kind of like a lifted bicycle. You're in, usually bicycles are on your back, but this will be lifted here and you'll be punching as you bicycle. Challenge would be to hold some weights in your hand here. Modification would be to have your hands back and bicycle like this. All right, so 
the lunge is what builds, um, and the bicycle is always 20 seconds. So grab the weights you're going to want to use for this. And we'll start in about 10 seconds. Okay, we'll be going right from the school of the, the lunge to the bicycles. We'll have about five seconds of transition, and then we'll rest after we've done both throughout. All right, so we're starting with the lunges, 15 seconds in three, two, one, go. As you lunge back, press overhead. Weights are at your shoulders, otherwise. All right, transition, bicycle punches. And begin. Punch with force as you go through the bicycle here. If you can't keep your back straight, then bring your arms behind you for the modification. Rest. 10 seconds rest. Then we go to 30 seconds of the lunges. And begin. Lunge back and press. As you lunge back, your knee can either hit the ground or just hover right above it. Watch everybody. Good. Yep, if you've got lighter weights, go at a faster tempo. All right, transition to bicycles. Five seconds and begin. 20 seconds of bicycle punches. Keep moving quickly through the bicycles. Rest, 15 seconds, then we go to 45 seconds of the lunge press. All right, three, two, one, begin. Weights up by your shoulders and press. After this, we've got the 60 seconds and then you're done with this movement. Keep looking straight in front of you. A few more seconds, that's it. Don't stop till it's time. All right, transition. Bicycle punches. And go. Remember, just 20 seconds here. It doesn't get longer. Keep punching, I know your arms are tired. Rest. We've got 15 seconds, then we've got the last part here. Five seconds. All right, dedicate yourself to moving through this whole minute. Go. Know that you've got it in you to work for the whole minute. Decide your tempo and stick with it. Good, you're over halfway there. Keep going. Yep, press. Good. Lunge back and press. Nice. Just a few more seconds. Keep going, keep going. Five seconds. 
Get one more rep in. All right, transition. Bicycles. Go. Last part here. Really move with force. Pick up your tempo. Few seconds left. Rest. Good job, everyone. We're going to go through that same pattern, but with two new movements. So the first one, uh, the one that we'll build, will be the a surrender squat, moving forward and back. So a surrender squat is when you stay low, you tap back, then you're also going to tap forward. Tap back each side, and tap forward each side with your knee, staying low the whole time. That's the one that builds. The 20 second movement will be a plank with dragging a weight. So you have a weight in front of you and you're going to drag it from one side to the other for 20 seconds. All right? So we'll start that in a few seconds here. Starting with 15 seconds of that surrender squat. Moving forward and back. We're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Just 15 seconds here, stay low. Tap your knees back, and then tap your knees forward. If you wanna add a challenge here next time, you can hold a weight while you're doing this. All right, transition to your plank. And go, drag that weight from one hand to the other. Work the whole time. Rest, 10 seconds. If you want to challenge with the surrender squat, hold the weight up at your chest like this. All right, go. Down in that surrender squat. Moving forward and back, 30 seconds. Stay low the whole time. Transition, weight drag. And two, one, go. Drag the weight across in your plank. Stick with it. Rest. 15 seconds here. Then we've got 45 and 60. Five seconds. All right, go. Stay low the whole time. Challenge yourself not to let your hips come up. If your hips have come up, sink them down again. More than halfway there. Let your quads start to get shaky. Remember that feeling of pain doesn't mean you don't have it in you. It means you're getting stronger, you're working. All right, transition. Plank, go. For this, we've just got another minute 20 of work. Rest. 15 seconds. Then we've got the last part. Five seconds. 
seconds. Get ready. One minute for the surrender squats. Go. Start with your hips low and keep them there. You can exhale as your knees come down each direction. Inhale as you stand up. Halfway there. Maybe you want to pick up your tempo for the last 30 seconds. Or maybe you need to drop your hips back another inch down. Be honest with yourself. Feel your quads burn here. If they're not burning, drop your hips down. Just a few more seconds. Move all the way until the end. Rest. Well, five seconds rest. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Should have said transition. Planks. We'll rest in 20 seconds. See how quickly you can move that weight from one side to the other. Rest for real. Nice job, everybody. Get some water if you need it. We've got one more set. All right, so our last set is going to be a pyramid. We'll do one movement on the way up and one movement on the way down. We'll be building from 10 to 60 seconds. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. On the way up and down, our rest will be between 10 to 15 seconds. 10 seconds when the work is short, 15 seconds when the work is longer. So on the way up, we're doing a burpee to a thruster. So you're gonna be using weights the whole time here. So when you come down into your burpee, you can keep your hands on your weights like this. Remember, you can either step or jump back into your burpee. You can do the push-up or not with knees down or up. Then you're going to jump or hop or jump or walk forward. While you're down here, you're gonna lift the weights up towards your shoulders and then you'll press up so it's like doing a thruster, which is a squat with a press, on the way up. What I don't want you to do is try to lift the weights up as you come up, because that's going to put a lot of strain on your back. While you're down here, you have to bring the weights to your chest, then stand up. Okay? So on the way up, that's what we're doing. Burpee to thruster. On the way down, we are doing a side lunge to a jump squat. So you're going to lunge to the side with a weight, or option would be to have no weight. Lunge to the side. Remember when you lunge to the side, your weight is going back. It's not like an inseam stretch where your knee is forward. Your knee is back, your weight is back. So you lunge to the side, come to the center, but don't bring your feet together because you're coming to the center for a jump squat, and then lunge to the other side. So. Once you get your rhythm down, you'll have jump squat to side lunge like this. That will be once we reach the first 60, we'll start with 60 seconds of that and go down. So get your weights ready for the burpee to thruster. And we'll start in just a few seconds here. Remember, we only have 10 seconds of it to start. And then it's getting longer each time. All right, so we're gonna start in three, two, one, go. 10 seconds of that burpee to thruster. Remember, bring the weight to your chest before you stand up. Rest, probably only got through one, that's fine. 10 seconds rest, then we go to 20. Two, one, go. Weight to your chest before you stand up. See if you can 
get one more in. Rest. 10 seconds rest, then we go to 30. You're gonna start to feel yourself working here. Go. Try to land in your plank with your elbows a little bit bent, not all the way locked out. Good. Get your rhythm. Rest. 10 seconds. Then we go to 40. After this, we'll have 15 seconds rest. Go. 40 seconds on. We're only adding 10 seconds each time. So you're able to move through the whole thing. If you did the last one, you know you can do this one. Maybe you slowed down on the last one and you can pick it up on this one because you realize you've got more left than you thought. Just a few more seconds. Rest. Now we're going to 50 seconds. In three, two, one, go. Push yourself to stick with it. To not think about being tired or how much more you have left. But to trust that you can keep moving. Think about your form. Remember, weights to chest before you stand. Let your breathing get heavy. Let your arms get shaky. Rest. 15 seconds. Then we've got the last minute here. That's it. That's it for this movement. Five seconds. And go. Last minute here. And you're done with this movement for the day. The next movement will be working some different muscles. So push yourself to finish this whole minute strong. Knowing that you didn't let up early. You're more than halfway there. Challenge yourself to go a microsecond faster than you think you can. Try to get through three more. Rest. Nice job, 15 seconds. Then we go to one minute of the side lunge to jump squat. Three, two, one. Side lunge, weight back, jump squat. Side lunge. We've got a whole minute to start here. So you'll really figure out your rhythm and the tempo here and the coordination. Good. Everyone's doing a great job of keeping their chest tall and open. Remember to keep your weight back on those side lunges. Your knee should not be moving in front of your ankle. 15 seconds left. This is the hardest set here. And it all gets easier. Rest. 
rest. 15 seconds. Then we go to 50 of this movement. All right, three seconds. Go. You're familiar with this movement now. You only have to do it for 10 seconds less than you already did. Push yourself to really explode on those jump squats. Make it a powerful jump. Powerful jump to a soft landing like you're trying to be really quiet when you land down. Ten seconds. Rest. Fifteen seconds. Then we go to forty. Let yourself stay really out of breath, really sweaty all the way to the end. In three. And begin. Forty seconds. Side lunge to jump squat. For power on your jump. More than halfway. Trust yourself to keep moving and to not slow down. Get through one more round. Rest. Okay, we've only got 10 seconds now. Then we go to 30. It's gonna fly by. Begin. 30 seconds is gonna go quick. So move yourself quickly through this. Keep your weight back in your heels. Don't give up your form. Good job, everybody. Rest. All right. Just 20 and 10 left. That's it. And go. Side lunge to jump squat. It's 20 seconds and 10 seconds are going to feel like nothing. See if you can speed through two rounds. I don't know if that's possible. Let's try. Go. Power on your jump. Rest. Nice job. All right, get some water and then we will stretch. All right, great job, everybody. I know I am very, very sweaty. All right, so come and lie down on your side with your left arm in front of you, right arm on top of it, and then you're gonna open up your right arm behind you for a big chest opener here. You can have your knees bent in at 90 degrees and look over at your right hand. Feel your right chest, underarm stretching out long. And then we're going to switch sides. So now come to rest on your right side. Knees up, left arm opens out to the side. Look over towards your left hand. All 
All right, come on out of this. From here, you're going to come into broken toe when you have your toes curled under, underneath you. If it's uncomfortable, sit all the way back on them. You can sit up. And we're going to flow between this position and a narrow down dog. So not a full down dog. It'll be, your hands and feet will be closer than normal. So in your broken toe, narrow down dog. Back to your broken toe. Narrow down dog. Go back and forth like that. And you don't have to actually sit all the way back each time. You can bend your knees down and then come back up. Take one more of those. And then from here, you're going to come up to kneel and bring one leg out to the side and lean to the side and then back to center. Keeping your torso tall here, shoulders relaxed. All right, and then we'll switch sides. Gently moving back and forth. All right, from here you're going to come up to stand and take one of your arms, take your right arm and bring it back behind you like this. And then you're going to bend your neck with your left ear coming down towards your left shoulder, all the way to the side, direct neck stretch. We'll do three variations here, and this is really great, especially if you're working at a desk during the day to do throughout your day. Now drop your head a little bit down, and keep your back straight the whole time here. Don't let your spine bend. You want this to just be a stretch for your neck. And then reach your head back behind you. All right, and then we'll switch sides. So the other arm will bind behind you. Come straight down to start. And then drop your head forward a little bit. And then bring your head back behind you, looking up. All right, and then we'll let that go. Grab a hold of one of your quads, kick your foot into your hand, and open up your chest tall. Keep kicking your foot into your hand. You can hold on to something if that helps you balance. And switch sides. Kick your foot to hand. Keep your torso tall. All right, and lastly, cross your right foot in front of your left. Reach your right arm up to the side and take a side body stretch. If you mix those up, it's fine. This stretch works pretty well both, both ways, no matter which way your legs are crossed. Then we'll switch. So left arm comes in front of the right, or left leg comes in front of the right. Left arm comes up, side bend to the other side. All right, and we're done. Great job, everybody.